In this how-to video, I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of Backup Exec 2012. So, first thing we can do is go to the pre-installation. Click on Backup Exec to install. Next. And here we're going to do a local environment check. We're going to install this locally on the computer. Remote is if you have the resources on another computer to do the backup. Here it's running the environment checks. It's going to choose a default path, which we'll just go ahead and, and save. Remember this default path is right here at the bottom. You can change that right there. And we can scroll and see if anything here says that it did not pass. We have some warnings, it should be okay, about terminal server not having antivirus installed. Click finish. And now we can go to the installation. If you are just installing the agent, so you can back up a server on a different computer than where the backup hardware is, then you can choose this, otherwise you choose backup exec. And fast forwarding a little bit, we're just about done with the initial installation. Alright, that part took roughly two to three minutes, depending on how fast your computer is. We're now presented with an end user license agreement, which you can read there if you want. Accept. And you can also allow Backup Exec to collect usage information. Next, we can choose a typical installation or custom. I'm going to go ahead and choose custom. Again, this is going to be a local installation where everything installs locally on the computer. Otherwise, we can, if we install the remote administration console, that allows us to communicate with another server that's actually doing the backup. All right, we have green lights across the board except for some of those warnings we talked about earlier. So we'll go ahead and choose next. And we're going to do the trial version. Since this is a beta. And we can check the different options. We have tape device drivers. I definitely recommend you use semantics device drivers, although you could use Windows if you wanted to. That does cause some problems. Uh, Documentation is good. Robotic library support if you have a tape library unit. In this case, we're going to be backing up to hard drives that are installed on the server itself. Copy server configurations uh, allows you to copy the jobs uh, using templates. Definitely recommend that. Makes things a little bit easier. Uh, you want to be able to manage the backup exec server. So it shows the, the central administration option. That's especially if you have multiple backup exec servers, which we do not in this case. Virtual tape library support. Uh, it supports the additional drives in a virtual tape library. So if you don't have a physical library but you are emulating one, then you can go ahead and, and choose that. Uh, you must purchase the virtual tape library unlimited drive option to get that. And on to applications and databases. We're going to go ahead and choose that. That's going to be for Microsoft Exchange, Lotus Domino, some other things, SharePoint, SQL. Uh, we're not going to choose Linux at this time. Deduplication option allows you to save a lot of space on your drives. So if you have multiple files with, that are exactly the same, it'll just back up one of those instead of all of them. Central admin server option for under the enterprise server option, you can install the central administration server component. Allows job load balancing. That could be helpful for you. Advanced Disk Backup option does some additional options for you. Off-host backup moves the processing from a remote computer, which is good. Also, True Image Restore enables back, Backup Exec to uh, do the restore exactly the way it was before, similar to Acronis. We're going to go ahead and check that. Exchange Mailbox Archiving option if you're using the Exchange 2010 archiving. Outlook must be the default client on the backup exec server. And I don't have Outlook on here now, but uh, we'll go ahead and install that later. 
file system archiving option and save space on the file server moves archive data to disk based vault stores that kind of thing the NDMP option allows you to use the network data management protocol controls backups on NAS units we'll go ahead and check that and the storage provisioning option if you're using an array that's attached to the server we'll go ahead and check that next I'm going to choose English we have all different kinds of places we can put this we're just going to leave it on the C drive just for the program and we're going to put in our password and that's going to allow the administrator of the domain to have all of the rights needed to back up and we can have a local backup exec SQL Express instance this installs Microsoft SQL Express onto the computer unless we already have SQL Express which we don't so we'll go ahead and allow that and again we're going to want to use the semantic device drivers for all devices recommended if you have an older device that doesn't have the drivers then you can go on semantics website or just use the Windows ones next and install our installation is going right along here. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward so we can get to the end. Alright, so that took about 20 minutes on an i5 Windows 2008 R2 64-bit with 8 gigs of RAM. So we're going to uncheck the view readme. We're going to go ahead and allow the creation of the desktop icon. And you can do a survey if you want. We'll go ahead and skip that. And then we'll finish. Now we'll close that box, go ahead and launch Backup Exec 2012 for the first time. Show you what the interface looks like. Alright, to begin with, it's going to say that we have no storage configured at this time and we've got our trial version before we have to put in the uh, license in there so a whole new interface here and if we go up to the backup and restore option here we can create a backup click here backup to disk backup to disk convert to virtual machine some various different options archive synthetic backup here's where we configure our storage and we can do disk base network so lots of new options that were not there before network storage is also cloud storage which is very handy and we can also get our reporting done here so we can do custom reports just job reports just like we're used to on the home button we do have some interesting new options we can change the way that the look is by splitting everything up into columns as you can see here the different backup sizes active alerts all these can show up right on the home screen so stay tuned for additional videos on all the configuration of the different options on backup exec 2012